What's going on? What's happening? What's up? How's everybody doing? My name is Uncle Dibs. You're live here in my kitchen and it's time to cook, okay? We're cooking something up real nice that's got the right amount of spice and it's gonna keep the whole house happy. I put this recipe up not too long ago and it's got over a million likes, views, whatever. Uh, in that time frame across all platforms on Twitter, on TikTok, YouTube, Threads, Facebook. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. But listen, all I can tell you is that it's bussin'. I'm doing my pork chop nuggets, okay? This ain't Chick fil A, this is pig filet, okay? So listen, there will be pork in this live. So if you don't like that, listen, I totally understand. But um, we're gonna flip things around for y'all so y'all can really get the real. I'm showing you guys a more revised version of this recipe than the one I posted in the video. There's some things I wanted to try differently this time around. This is my second time making it. And uh, I think I've got the recipe down perfectly. It's not really about any other type of amounts or anything like that. All the ingredients are the same. So the full ingredient list for this pork chop nuggets recipe is gonna be the same, but just a little bit different technique. Just a little bit different technique, all right? So if you're just not tuning in, my name is Uncle Dibs. I'm live here in Houston, Texas. I don't like cooking for strangers, so I wanna know where you guys are from. Put in the chat, put in the live, where you're from, where you're representing, I'm in follower only mode, subscriber only mode right now. So make sure you hit that follow button so I can see your comments so that you're not just typing blindly to yourself, okay? You have to be following in order for me to see what you're posting, all right? Appreciate y'all. We had 100 likes right now. Let's try to get to 150 likes. Double tap that screen for me after you leave your comment too. We got California in here. Shout out to Betwater71 representing the West Coast. Much love to the West Coast. Appreciate the love, y'all. Appreciate y'all double tapping that screen as well. We're gonna do these pork chop nuggets live from start, <clears throat> excuse me, from start to finish. I can't believe I'm already losing my voice. We're two minutes into the live. We got Dallas in here too. Shout out to C Breezy. We got Indiana in here. Shout out to Gail representing that Midwest as well. Much love to y'all. Man, Indiana in here heavy. Shout out to Indiana. Eric is representing Indiana too as well. Much love to you, Eric, as well. Tuning in on this live. Kentucky up in here. I see y'all. All right, y'all. So listen, we're going to get started on this pork chop nuggets, nuggets recipe. One thing I love about this recipe is, um, you know, pork is really like the other white meat that people don't really talk about. You know, especially in our community, black community, Pork is a real controversial uh, subject, you know what I mean? Um, you know, whether it be from religious to, you know, you, how you were raised, whatever. I'm from down south. We, we eat some pork down here. But I want to take a little poll in the chat. If you do eat pork, put a number one. If you don't eat pork, put a number two. I see Wisconsin up in here. Shout out to L.A. up in here, too, as well. What's up, my boy? Boy. Appreciate you tuned in. Okay, well, you guys are in the right place. I'm seeing a lot of ones, all right? But listen, when it comes down to it, this recipe is perfect because chicken is very expensive right now. You already know beef is very expensive. Man, fish is even getting expensive. But pork is relatively still the same price because a lot of people don't eat it a lot or, don't, or choose not to eat it at all. So the, the price is relatively low. And when you prepare it like this, honestly, especially with the seasoning that I'm gonna use for it, there's really not that much of a difference in taste between, say, if I did regular chicken nuggets or these pork nuggets right here. So with that being said, this is just another option, especially a lower cost option as far as meat. There's other ways to prepare pork chops besides just smothering them and covering them, so I'm gonna show you a different way. So I'm gonna go through this ingredients list. I need to see some love. 
Y'all put some fire emojis. Make some noise in the comments. Let me see y'all. Double tap that screen. We had over 600 likes. Let's try to get to 700. Double tap that screen. Remember, I'm in follow-up only mode right now. So if you want me to see your comments, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the follow button so I can see y'all, all right? Appreciate that love, y'all. All right, y'all. We're just going to get cooking. This is, this is not going to be a fast-paced live. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to chill. You put your feet up. Relax. Grab you some coffee. Grab you uh, whatever you like to sip on, snack on. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. All right, y'all. Any discounts today for the store? You know what? Let me, let, me, let me think about it because I just hit 500K. I appreciate that crying. I'm going to grab that thing. Thank you so much. We just hit 500K, so thank y'all for hitting me with that 500K follower account. So I might have something special, but, but tune in. Let me get these things, uh, these nuggets nuggeting first, all right? First, you're going to need some boneless pork chops like this right here, okay? No bone in there. You got that nice rib cap right there, that nice fat cap right there. That's flavor, all right? I think the best place you can get these right now is Costco. You can get like a, a four pound pack of these for like less than 15 bucks. It's, it's really that cheap. So I'm just using three of these. The recipe calls for, I believe, two pounds, but one pound is enough if it's just gonna be you and a buddy or you and, you and wifey or you and your uh, special person, special friend, one pound is definitely enough. You can also need two cups of all purpose flour, okay? Thank you, loyal lady. I appreciate that. Thank you, loyal lady. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of buttermilk. Now, when you get the buttermilk, you have to get the buttermilk with fat in it, okay? Do not get low-fat buttermilk, all right? Do not get low-fat buttermilk. Get buttermilk with the fat, okay? Now, for the oil, because we're going to be frying these, you're going to need some peanut oil, all right? Now, a lot of people ask, do I have to use peanut oil? Um, I'm allergic to peanuts, so I can't do that. You can use regular vegetable oil. But the reason why I cook with peanut oil is because of the high smoke point, meaning it won't burn uh, whatever you're frying or, or using the oil for. It won't burn it. It can, it can last at a higher temp. And we're going to have these um, nuggets. We're going to keep, keep the oil between 300 and 325 so we get that nice golden chick-fil-a-esque color all right now some other options you need to as well you're gonna need a little bit of hot sauce this is a company out of uh california called zabs they actually have a recipe that's based out of uh florida of their saint augustine hot sauce you can use any hot sauce but this is what i'm using right here uh you can use crystals whatever you want now this is perfect with some type of dipping sauce okay perfect with any this any nuggets you get you already know Matter of fact, if you have Chick-fil-A where you're at, what sauce do you dip your Chick-fil-A nuggets in? Put it in the comments. What sauce do you dip your Chick-fil-A nuggets in? Let me know. Also say grapeseed oil, you can use that too as well. Thank you very much. I personally like the straight up Chick-fil-A sauce, but some people like barbecue. I see Eric likes barbecue. Some people like the Polynesian sauce like Boyd. I like the straight up Chick-fil-A sauce, but listen, with pork, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but pork and fruit pair perfectly together. Like pork chops and apples, pork chops and peaches. Pork chops pair amazingly, or just pork period, with fruit, pineapple. So this is, a, this is the barbecue sauce I love to use for this. It's an apricot sweet and tangy bar barbecue sauce from Schrager, all right? This is not anything sponsored or anything like that. This, I'm just showing you what I like to pair with this. So this is an apricot flavored, nice and sweet, tangy, and it's perfect, pairs perfect with this pork, okay? And then, of course, we got to have some seasoning, right? We can't have pork type nuggets without any seasoning. And that's where this comes in. My Dirty Bird Rub. Brand new one pound bag. Now... For those of y'all that been with me for a minute, you know I had the Dirty Bird Rub in these bottles right here, right? But I was getting so many messages about, we need bigger bottles. I run through one bottle in like one weekend. So I listened to you guys. And that's the beauty of me getting on these lives and be able to communicate with you guys. 
because I listen to you guys. I take you guys' advice. I, I, I'm here for y'all. I'm y'all's unk, all right? Y'all my nieces and nephews, so I'm here for y'all. So four of these equals one of these. Four of these equals one of these. And Boyd asked if I have any discounts. And guess what? Since I just hit 500K, I'm going to do something crazy. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. For you guys right here on this live right now, for, since I just hit 500K followers on TikTok, and I thank y'all so much, I'm going to do a, man, I can't believe I'm about to do this. They're going to be, my supply going to be mad at me because I know y'all about to use this up. Guess what, y'all? Just for y'all, because you can only hit 500K one time. I'm going to do 40% off anything at the store, UncleDibs.com. That's my website. Get any seasoning you want, including this big one-pound bag of Dirty Bird Rub. But I need a discount. I need a discount code for the 40% off. Somebody give me a discount code, an easy discount code. I'm here at the page right now. I need to put it in. Somebody give me a discount code to put in for the 40% off. Somebody help me out. Something that's real easy. Someone said E40. <laughs> Chops. You know what? I'm going to keep it simple. Let's just do this. Let's just do this, all right? To keep it as simple as possible, let's just make it 500K, okay? 500K all together. The K is capitalized, all right? 500K, 40% off. You guys see it right there. 500K, 40% off at UncleDibs.com during this live, all right? And listen, stuff is selling out like crazy because I just did my 500K giveaway yesterday. So if you want to get whatever you want to get, go now. I'm going to be here. We're taking our time, all right? So listen, y'all, 500K is the giveaway code. 500K, I mean the 40% the, the off code, all right? So let's get cooking, y'all. Oh, also another thing. Half a cup of cornstarch. I almost forgot. Half a cup of cornstarch. So our dry ingredients, I'm going I'm to set them over here. That's two cups of flour. Half a cup of cornstarch. I got my buttermilk over here. I got my oil over here. All right. Now, I told you at the beginning that I did some revisions to this recipe after I cooked it for the first time. And one thing I wanted to do with these pork chops is tenderize them. Okay, I didn't tenderize them the first time I did it, but now I am going to. So you can get a, a meat tenderizer if you want. I'm old school. I just use the back of the knife, all right? This is a, a, a solid edge right here. It's not sharp. This is just the back of my knife right here. And I'm just gonna, little whack, little, little whack. You, you guys been to Dave and & Buster's and, and Chuck E. Cheese and stuff like that, that little game? That's all you gotta do. A couple times on each side. Flip it around. Be very careful that you don't whack too far back and slice off a, a pork chop off your chest or something like that. Be very careful anytime you're using anything sharp in the kitchen, y'all. Especially my kids that are watching. Make sure your mommy and daddy's there to help you out and watch you, okay? Because Safety is always first in the kitchen, all right? So just tenderizing it a little bit, using the back of this knife. And then what we're gonna do is cut this pork chop. My site is UncleDibs.com. I wish I had some moderators in here right now to help me out because I got my hands full, but it's UncleDibs.com. You can just hit the top of my, uh, my icon up there at the top. It'll take you to my page. And just hit that link in the bio and you'll be able to get, get right to my site or just go to Google and Google Uncle Dibs. That's Uncle D-I-B-B-Z, okay? So with the boneless pork chop, I'm just gonna slice it into fourths so we get some strips like that. Then I'm gonna cut that in half so I get a nice little nugget just like that, okay? Now, 
when I first did this, I felt that some of the nuggets were a little bit too big after I fried them. So I'm going to cut some of these into even smaller parts so that they're about that size, okay? Bite size. So I'm going to have some that are bigger, some that are smaller, but I just want the cook time to be even because the bigger parts and the bigger, thicker parts are in there for too long. That outside uh, skin starts to get very, very dark and starts to get crispy and a little too crispy, a little bit too well done. And we don't want that. So this is about the size we're looking for, just like that. Something that you could fit in like a chopstick, all right? So you're gonna do that to all three of your pork chops or four of your pork chops, however many you're using. And like I said, you're just looking for like just a nice little, like if you got some Chinese food, just the size of the chicken that they will have in your, in your uh, chicken, and, chicken and broccoli or whatever case you may get. Speaking of uh, Chinese food, what's y'all's go-to Chinese? I haven't ordered Chinese food like for delivery in, in a minute. When I was growing up, you had two options if you wanted delivery. You can either get pizza or Chinese food. These kids nowadays, they can get uh, Cheesecake Factory delivered, Shake Shack delivered, Chick-fil-A delivered. You can even get Popeyes delivered. Thank you, everyone making their purchase. I appreciate that. Once I get this knife out of my hand, I'm going to shout out everybody that puts an order in at UncleDibs.com. Remember to use that code. Use that code, y'all, for 40% off. 500K is the code. 500K is the code for 40% off. That's my thank you to you guys. Basically, with that code, you're getting everything at um, base cost, like wholesale cost, all right? You're getting everything basically at the lowest point I can sell it. I'm really not even making any money off of it because, you know, that 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 uh, code is so uh, so large, 40 percent killing my profit margins. But like I said, sometimes you got to give back to those that have given so much to you guys get into this 500 K uh, level. And some people are saying stuff is sold out. Listen. People are hitting the site heavy. I don't keep large quantities for a reason because I like to I like to uh, maintain the quality. So if you're looking for anything that says it's sold out, it'll be back on the site probably by next week. That code is not going to work. These bottles are sold out. The small bottles of Dirty Bird Rub are sold out, but the big bags are still in stock. OK, and remember, four of these. Four of these equals one of these. So this is your best value, especially when you use that 40% off code. So just keep that in mind. All right, y'all. So I got my nuggets right here, right? Bring it over here into view. So this is this is a good amount. So if you're watching the game, if you're watching the Masters this weekend, I know there's a UFC fight tonight too as well. This is a perfect finger food bite that's not wings. That's not mozzarella sticks. That's not nachos. And nope, nope, nothing's wrong with any of those things. But this is something that's just a little bit different than the usual, okay? So I got my nuggets right here. Now what I'm going to do is prepare this brine. Now generally, I would like to do this the night before or the day before so that this uh, brine mixture can really penetrate uh, these pork chop nuggets. But we're working live here right now, and it's about the process and the technique. If you cannot let these marinate for more than a day, that's fine. But try to let them marinate for at least two to four hours, at least, okay? So first, you're going to need a little bowl like this. Next, we're going to throw in our buttermilk. Appreciate everybody at the site right now using that code. I see my... Site is going crazy right now. So everyone using that code, thank you so much. 40% off. The code is 500K. Buttermilk in there. Next, we're going to add our dirty bird rub, okay? We're going to add two tablespoons of this dirty bird rub to this buttermilk, okay? Just one tablespoon, two tablespoons. 
all this is going to do is make sure flavor is all throughout, all throughout these pork chop nuggets. Because that's the one thing about pork. A lot of the times they can be, it could be dry. It's almost like you're eating, you know, cardboard. Not with this recipe, all right? Two tablespoons. <coughs> if you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned, like my man say. Next, you want a little bit of hot sauce in there. Everybody in the comments, put whatever your favorite hot sauce is in the comments, all right? I don't care if it's classic hot sauce from Louisiana, if it's a Mexican hot sauce, because I love me some hot sauce. But I'm using the Zab's hot sauce right here. Somebody said crystal. I love me some crystals too. Well, I like to call it crystals. Just put a couple dashes of hot sauce in there too as well. Somebody said Frank's. Tapatio. I love me some tapatio. Tapatio on, on, on potato chips is super good. All right. A couple hot sauce, a little bit of hot sauce in there. Next, we're going to add these nuggets right in there. Now, I know you're probably thinking, why don't you just mix that up? I'm going to mix it with my hands, y'all. So the pork chop nuggets, right up in that buttermilk, y'all. And I think this is going to turn out way better than the nuggets that I did on the video because I can already see they're so much smaller. So they're going to be packed, packed, packed with flavor. All right. Now, use your God-given hands and just mix that all together just as such, okay? Can everybody see that? Put a, put a three in the comments if you guys can see this. If I need to rearrange my camera, let me know. But I needed a whole shot so you guys can see everything I'm doing from the front to the back when I start to get the frying too, okay? Appreciate that. And thank y'all for tuning in. We had, oh, damn, we had over 5,000 likes. Everybody double tapping that screen. I appreciate y'all. And right now I'm in follower only mode too as well. So if you wanna leave a comment, represent where you're from, or if you have any questions, I can only see if you're following me. So make sure you hit that follow button so I can see any comments that you are making. Now I'm already seeing the flavor being distributed all through these nuggets right now in this buttermilk mixture, okay? All you wanna do is give it a nice Thai massage just like this, be gentle with it, all right? Make sure everything is submerged just as such. And I'm bringing this over here to y'all. Shout out to Fort Worth, Texas, Funky Town, I'll see y'all. So all we're gonna do now is just cover this and now, uh, if this was like, you know, off camera, I would put this in the fridge and I'll get back to this tomorrow and then get the frying. But listen, that's what you should do. I'm just gonna set it over here for right now. And then I'm gonna let it marinate just like that. And I'm gonna get this oil going, okay? So for the oil, like I told y'all before, Peanut oil, you can use vegetable oil too as well. Canola is fine too. I think a brother in here said uh, grapeseed. All right, let me ask, let me answer some questions because I see a lot of people having questions. Shout out to H Town in here, Sacramento. I see you. Where can I find the Dirty Bird seasoning? You can find it on my website, UncleDibs.com. Okay, just go to the link in my bio on my TikTok, and you can go right there, and it'll take you directly to the site. UncleDibs.com and use that code 500K for 40% off. What's going on, Mr. Bespoke? Shout out to y'all. All right, so for the frying, I know it's black on black over here, but I have a cast iron skillet. Everybody needs a cast iron skillet. I don't care if you cook a lot or not a lot at all. You need a cast iron skillet in your kitchen. I got my cast iron, heavy bottom cast iron skillet over here. I'm gonna put it on about medium high heat. You do not need a ton of oil for this. You're not deep frying chicken. You just need a nice, solid, maybe two inches of oil to uh, fry these nuggets. So I'm gonna take my peanut oil. Y'all can see that right there? I'm gonna take my peanut oil and just distribute it till I get to that two inch mark just as such, okay? So almost like halfway up the pan. That's as much oil as you need. And the reason why I only use that much oil because the technique that I like to use when I'm frying is I constantly agitate. This is whether it's chicken, nuggets, whatever, pork nuggets. I constantly agitate whatever I'm frying to maintain that color. 
You notice how sometimes when you, when you get that homemade fried chicken, and I love homemade fried chicken, it'll be like, it'll have like an ashy or dark, you know how sometimes people's elbows be dark like that, and, and you see that on the chicken, it have these little dark spots and stuff like that, and there's nothing wrong with that, it still tastes great, but I'm a presentation guy, and I have had to learn, especially with this social media, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, that people eat with their eyes. I wish I could just pick some of this food up and just give it to you right there, and y'all can just grab it and, and, and taste what I'm tasting. But I know you can only taste it with your eyes. Presentation is everything. And the reason why a lot of the times those uh, homemade fried chicken that you might do at home, it don't look like how it, it does uh, when you go out or whatever, is because you're not agitating that chicken while you're frying it. So there's a process that I do, and I'm gonna show it to, to y'all today, I agitate that chicken, or the, in this case, the pork nuggets, by constantly flipping and rotating them. So it kind of creates like a double fry or a flash fry effect. One side is frying, while the other side is exposed above, flip it, and then that colder side gets flash fried again, and it just creates a very nice color that you're gonna want on your chicken, your nuggets, your pork nuggets, whatever. So today, Stevie, I'm making my pork chop nuggets. This recipe went viral uh, not too long ago. And so I wanted to get on here live and show the people how I make this. And I actually made some revisions to this recipe. But if you, the, all the amounts and ingredients are correct. So all you need to do is go to my site. If you want this full recipe, go to UncleDibs.com. And you can have this whole recipe from top to bottom. The whole recipe from top to bottom. All right, while this oil is starting to get hot, we want to get the peanut oil up to 350 degrees. This is why it's good to always have a thermometer on deck in your kitchen. I have my little digital thermometer here. Once that oil gets to 350 and we put these nuggets in there, that temperature is going to drop tremendously. And we want to keep the oil between 300 and 320 so we can maintain that good color. Right now, the nuggets are marinating. I would say marinate these for at least four hours, overnight if you can, but today, we're gonna expedite the process. It's still gonna be busting though. Next, we're gonna get this dry mix together. So if you're just not joining us, the dry mix is very easy to make. All it is is two cups of all-purpose flour and half a cup of cornstarch, so we have that nice crispy skin, right? Also, we're gonna throw in some more of that dirty bird rub. Since we already have these brined in the dirty bird rub, we don't need to use an exorbitant amount of the dirty bird rub. So I'm gonna use probably just like a quarter cup. Okay, just about that much right there. I'm gonna add that to the dry mix, which is just the flour, and then also the cornstarch, just like that. Next, grab yourself a little bit of a whisk. If you're old school, just use a fork, it don't matter. And just mix that all together. It's, like, it's just like you're making fried chicken. But this is a whole lot cheaper, a whole lot easier. And here's a little, little tip too, if you are frying some chicken. I know we all like to just get the chicken already cut up and stuff like that. But the best thing you can do is just get a whole chicken and cut it up yourself. You can get you a nice, Young chicken, cut it up. It takes no more than maybe three, four, five minutes to cut it up. And you can save a lot of money if you're trying to fry some chicken for the family on a Sunday or whatever the case might be. I'm actually going to be frying some chicken later today. I'm going to do a, uh, a very special recipe. I'm going to keep it under wraps for now, but be looking for it very soon, okay? Something that uh, I've been missing. Something that I've been missing. Another copycat recipe. So this is our dry mix right here, which is just flour, some more of that dirty bird rub, and half a cup of cornstarch. Now while that oil is heating up, my nuggets are marinating, I wanna shout out some people that have been putting some orders in because you guys are going ham right now on that 500K uh, discount code. I wanna give a shout out to Catrice up there in New Jersey. She got my Vital Spice Daily Blend. Let me grab that. Because she wants to get right after eating these, these pork nuggets. All natural. What I put in my smoothies, my tea, everything. This is an all natural blend of eight essential herbs that your body needs. Cinnamon, mint, 
oregano, turmeric, ginger, uh, cilantro, basil, and parsley. The essential eight herbs you need every day. And then she also got the, the Delta Dust. Where's my Delta Dust at? Right here. This is what I like to call Papa Do's in a bottle. If you ever ate a Papa Do's in your life, put a number one in the chat. Everywhere doesn't have Papa Do's. I, I don't think West Coast got Papa Do's. But Texas, Louisiana, couple couple cities in Georgia, this is Papa Do's in a bottle, the Delta Dust. So what I do all my Cajun dishes with for when I, when I really want to spice it up. I also want to give a shout out to Corey out here in Texas. He also got that Delta Dust. And then he also got some of that straight drop rub, which is my all-purpose seasoning. You can use the straight drop rub for morning, noon, and night. And I think I used all my straight drop rub because I don't see none of it up here. But shout out to you, Corey. That's going to be on the way. And he used that 500K um, discount code for 40% off. I want to give a shout out to... Is that Dion? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Diane? Dion? Up there in Maryland, she got that big bag of Dirty Bird Rub, that family size. She also got that Delta Dust. And she also got that Jerk Nice Spice. I don't know if I have any jerk up here, too. Oh, yeah, I do. To make them jerk wings and things, the oxtails. Use that 500K for that 40% off. And I also want to give a shout out to Dawn out there in Washington State. Getting that dirty bar rub. Y'all, go there now. Go to the website now, UncleDibs.com. Go ahead and put that 500K code in after you add whatever you want to your order. And you'll be saving 40% off today and today only, all right? So, it's time to start dredging. Very simple process, just like we would do if we were doing fried chicken. So, we're going to act like this today is the next day. Matter of fact, I'm gonna walk off camera, walk on camera, it's gonna be a new day, all right? Watch, I'm gonna grab my coffee. Hey, good afternoon, y'all. My name is Uncle Dibs. We're here to fry some pork nuggets today, all right? This is not Chick-fil-A, this is pig fil a So today is a new day. Your pork nuggets have been marinating in the fridge overnight. Now it's time to dress them up. Ever make apple pie filling, stuffed pork chops? I've never heard about that in my life. That sounds gluttonous, and I want three of them. That sounds crazy. All right, so to make this as a smooth process as possible, all you're going to need is to line up your buttermilk brine pork nuggets next to your dry mix, and then have a wire rack to set them on so that you don't make a huge mess while trying to dredge these. Now, we're gonna do my one, two, three method. Straight from the buttermilk into the, into the dry mix, right here onto the wire rack. Gonna need a wet hand, which is gonna be my right hand. A dry hand, which is gonna be my left hand. Wet hand is only gonna be over here. Dry hand is gonna be in the dry mix and placing it on the wire racks. If you guys are ready for me to dredge these pork chop nuggets, put a number five in the comments right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I feel like I'm about to run a race. Apple pie filled store stuffed pork chops, that's crazy. Where can you get that? Is that a restaurant? Where is that at? Or is that something you came up with? Because that sounds crazy. All right, y'all. Let me center this over here a little bit. So all you gonna do, a wet hand, you're gonna grab just a handful of nuggets, about five of them, drop them right there in your dry mix, throw some of that dry mix on top of your nuggets, make sure you keep your, your hand dripping over the rest of the nuggets in the buttermilk so you don't make a mess everywhere, and then just start to mix them up just as such, just like this, okay? You wanna press in that flour into all the crevices of those nuggets so that you get a nice thorough skin all throughout and not just like a little shell, like a little eggshell of it, all right? Press them in, shake them off one by one, and this is what you're looking for, this, this consistency right here, just like that, just like that. Set them over to the side, shake them off so you don't get any clumps. 
Shake, 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 shake. And I already, I'm already knowing this is gonna be better than the original recipe that I did because these nuggets are nice and small. It's almost like popcorn chicken, like popcorn bites. So you're just gonna be able to pop these. Some, some of the nuggets I made last time, they were super, super big. Almost like a meal in itself. Which is nothing wrong with that, but I just think for cook time, this is just gonna be a better cook time. So we go, we're going right from the buttermilk mixture, right into the dry mix, just like this. Throw that seasoned mixture right over the nuggets, that seasoned flour right over the nuggets. A very simple recipe, perfect for the Masters this weekend. Does, it, does anybody watch golf? Where are my golf uh, heads at? So I grew up in Georgia. One of my first uh, real jobs was actually working at a golf course. Um, in the kitchen, I did stuff all over that thing. They had me working. Hey, I learned a lot by working at a country club, man. Like just seeing how people operate. I remember I used to be up in there. I used to see people like Michael Jordan, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, politicians, Falcons football players, Braves players. And you learn a lot about people by being around that kind of energy, you know what I mean? Especially as a youngster. I think I'm a, I was probably like 19 years old and I'm over here, you know, listening to conversations. I'm gonna tell you one thing about being in food and beverage industry. When you go out, especially y'all that like to talk, when you guys go out after a couple glasses of wine, that waiter or, or bartender, they're listening to everything you're saying, okay? They're listening to everything you're saying and they're going back home or going back in the kitchen and talk, talking about what you're talking about if you're talking about something crazy. So always remember that. When you go out to eat and you just think they're just there paying no mind to you, they know everything that you're talking about. But, uh, you know, of course, nothing crazy was being said ever. But I just learned a lot about business, a lot about relationships, how to treat people. You know, just because you got money doesn't mean you could buy class. Um... You know, just because you got money doesn't mean that you're above anybody either. I learned a lot working at that country club, man. So, you know, definitely, uh, I don't know how we got on that topic. Oh, yeah, we're talking about the Masters, the uh, PGA Masters. I think Tiger's playing today, which is great to see uh, if you're a Tiger Woods fan. I mean, Tiger, when I think of uh, golf, I think of Tiger Woods. And Tiger Woods is one of, like, the last bastions of, like, people from my childhood that I remember watching. You know, we talk about like in the 90s, man, we had, it seemed like everything was in the 90s. You had Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, Tiger Woods, Ken Griffey Jr. I mean, Hulk Hogan, like the 90s was just like, people just seemed like larger than life. But, um, you know, now I think because of social media, everybody just kind of seems um, more, I don't want to say regular, but people just seem more larger than life back then. Um, good morning. What you cooking today? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Uh, good morning to you, too. I'm making my pork chop nuggets here, okay? So I'm just dredging them right now. I got my oil back there heating up. And we're just talking about life right now. So I know you probably came in like, what the hell is he talking about? We're just talking about life. You embarrassed? I am, too, because of that. I don't know what you're embarrassed about. What are you embarrassed about? What are you embarrassed about? I got, I got, I got me a, a, a pork tender right here. I don't know how that happened, but we'll see how that turns out. So, like I said before, all we're doing is just dredging these right now. We're just taking a handful of nuggets at a time, throwing them from that buttermilk mixture into this flour mixture, which is just flour, cornstarch, and my Dirty Bird Rub, which you can get for 40% off today at UncleDibs.com with the, with the code 500K. 500K for that code, all right? This is going to be so busted, man. Like I said, my original recipe, I felt like I, did, I, I didn't tenderize the pork chops at all. And I could, I could taste it different or feel the difference at least. The taste was still there, but the, the feeling was different. Now with these, they're way smaller. They tenderize. This is going to be like popcorn pork nuggets, like popcorn chicken pork nuggets. You know what I mean? So stay tuned for the final result of this. Make sure that
flowers pressed nice and good up in there. Hope everybody's having a great, great weekend, a great day, a great week. I know some people's uh, weekends is during the week and I got to work on the weekends, but I'll be surprised sometimes, man. People come up to me in public and be like, yo, I'll be at work watching your lives and stuff. I'm like, what kind of job you got where you can just watch me cook? But it's all good, though. I don't know. Speaking of the news, um, I watched uh, something on the news today about Keith Lee. Does anybody follow Keith Lee on here on TikTok? Put a number, put a number five in the comments if you follow Keith Lee. I have learned so much from you. I'm glad I found you. Have a great week. I appreciate that, Pam. Thank you so much for those kind words. I'm gonna tell you right now with um, doing this, doing these uh, lives and just posting content on social media. It could be a very uh, crazy place if you do not have thick skin. People will say the craziest things to you from behind a, a, a profile with no picture. They'll say, they'll make fun of how you look. They say, they'll, they'll, they'll talk about your technique. They'll just say stuff to you that I know they would not say to, to me in real life. And I had to learn really quick years ago, like you, you can't, Feed into that type of stuff. So comments like that, Pam, positive comments like that are really make a difference because if there's any other creators in here, you already know people on here, especially on TikTok, are super, super vicious, super mean, super, uh, you know, conflicted, I guess. And it's just kind of crazy to see some of the stuff that comes out of people's phones. It's like, this is really what you're thinking in your head. This is a wonderful way to learn recipes. There are a lot of people that can't cook. And that's my main thing. I'm over here, I'm not trying to, you know, do anything except show you stuff that is approachable. I'm not, I'm not on some um, Gordon Ramsay type stuff and like all that stuff like Hell's Kitchen and all that stuff. I don't really care for that type of, type of content or, or shows or whatever. I'm like, let me, show me something that I can make at my house. Show me something that I can make for my family. Show me something I can make for my little niece or my friends or a cookout or whatever. I don't need to know how to make foie gras and all that other type of stuff. You know what I mean? It happens when I cook on live. Yeah, you already know. Like, people will say anything to you. I mean, people will make fun of how you look. People, you know, talk about my face. Like, what is that on your face and all this other type of stuff? Like, it's like, why do you care? Like, focus on the food. <laughs> Yeah, not processed, exactly, exactly. And that's the thing, I, I hate to see, and this is no disrespect, like, but I didn't grow up on ramen noodles and all that type of top ramen. I think it's a generational thing. I think that stuff got popular if your parents were born after like the 70s or whatever, or the 60s, but you know, they, my, my mom, no matter what, she tried to make stuff homemade as much as possible. And I appreciate that more than ever now. I, took, I think I took it for granted when I was younger. But I'm trying to keep that tradition going. But I know a lot of people didn't grow up like that. Some people had parents or a mom that couldn't cook because she didn't have time. Or her mom didn't teach her. So, you know, I'm over here as your uncle showing you how to do this. So if you just now tuned in, you tune in at the perfect, perfect time. We're doing pork chop nuggets. Pork chop nuggets, not chicken nuggets pork chop nuggets, okay? I've dredged them. I have my flour mixture right there. And that dry mix, literally, is this flour cornstarch and this seasoning right here, the Dirty Bird Rub, which is one pound of this seasoning here. Four of these bottles equal one of these bags. This is a one pound bag. You can get it for 40% off at UncleDibs.com using the code 500 k at checkout during the duration of this live. That is to celebrate 500,000 followers here on TikTok. I thank y'all for that. We got over 10,000 likes. We had almost 11,000 likes on this live. So everybody double tapping that screen. I appreciate y'all so much. While you're at the site, you can also pick up my cookbook. That's good, shawty. My very first cookbook is also available there too as well. Now, that code does not work with the cookbook, but trust me, you're going to want this, especially if you're going to do some barbecuing this summer. I have plenty of barbecue recipes in there. Vegan recipes are also in there. Soul food, chicken, everything. 
everything. Desserts, my dad's top secret, banana pudding recipes in there. I can't even post that online. So where did you get the pork chop nuggets? So these pork chop nuggets came from boneless pork chops. All I did was cut up three boneless pork chops after I tenderized them, cut them up into little bite-sized pieces just like this. And now I got my oil over here. I got, I'm getting it up to 350. Let me check the temperature on this oil. And I'm just gonna fry them just like you would fry some chicken or anything else. So let me check the oil on here. Oh yeah. All right. So our oil is right where we need it to be. It's at around the 350 mark. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop these right into this oil. When I drop it into the oil, automatically it's gonna drop about 20 degrees. And we wanna keep that oil between 300 and 325, okay? So if you guys are ready for me to drop these nuggets, put some fire emojis in the comments because we're about to get frying, 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 frying. And while y'all doing that, I'm gonna shout out some more people that are on my site. UncleDibs.com, putting their orders in. I want to give a big shout out to Patsy up there in Oklahoma. She got that one pound bag of flavor on the way. Big shout out to you, Patsy. I also want to give a shout out to Chris, yeah, Christine up there in California. She got, hey, if you're a seafood lover, put a number two in the comments. Where are my seafood lovers at? If you love seafood, because I know we're doing pork chop nuggets, but... If you love a nice seafood boil, put a number two in the comments right now. I want to see something. Where are my seafood lovers at? So Christine said, damn all them pork chops. I need me a seafood boil. So Christine up there in North Carolina, she got that, I mean, excuse me, California. She got that seafood boil, that straight drop seafood boil, which is available at UncleDibs.com. This is all you need, all you need for your crab boils, your crawfish boils, shrimp, whatever, all with the sausage and the potatoes and the corn. I even got a nice, easy recipe there on the back for you. Three-step seafood boil. That's also available at UncleDibs.com too as well, all right? I've seen the fire emojis. Did you find yourself liking frying and cast iron as compared to other methods? That's a great question. So I have a whole bunch of pots and pans up there. I was gonna use my big hex clad um, roasting pan to fry, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it old school with the cast iron. The cast iron retains heat way better. Sometimes with the other pans, you have to wait for that oil to get up to temperature, but that cast iron, it retains it a lot better and you can cut down on your heat so that you're not having to play with the heat so much. It just retains that heat so much better. Appreciate that question, uh, Smith. All right, y'all, let's get frying, y'all. So I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna cut this in half. So I'm gonna put half these nuggets in there, fry them, and like I told you before, flip them, agitate them, and we're gonna make some nuggets, y'all, all right? So here we go, three, two, one, let's do it. Let me know if you hear the sound. Oh yeah, nice, N nice, and light boil, it's not going crazy. Things ain't jumping out the pan. That's a nice rolling boil that you're looking for, that fry right there. That's exactly what we need, just like that. Put a number two in the comments if you can hear that fry. So for that first initial fry, when we first put them in there, you wanna let that rock for maybe about a minute to two minutes, and then we're gonna flip it. We're gonna flip it and let it fry for about two minutes on that other side too, and then about every 45 seconds, just start rotating them. And the reason why we're doing that is because we wanna maintain that color. Now, after you drop it in there like that, let's see what the temperature of the oil is now.
303 degrees. So you want to keep that oil between 300 and 325. I'm going to bump it up just a little, little hair. Just a little hair, just like that. Because I want to keep it, try it like 310, 312. If you fry it at a heavier temperature, that's when you start getting that burned look. And that's not what you want, okay? If you fry it too low, that skin is going to slide right off that nugget. And it's not going to be nice and crispy. So a lot of people focus on everything over here before they get to the, uh, to the, to the pan, to the, the oil. You have to make sure your oil is right if you want good fried food. I don't care if it's nuggets, chicken, shrimp. The oil is not right. It ain't going to come out right, all right? So now I'm going to start to get the flipping. I can already see that skin starting to come together. I'm telling y'all, this looks like just like popcorn chicken or something like that. And pork is way cheaper than chicken. But this gets the job done. I'll tell you, your kids wouldn't even know the difference. Perfect for game day. Perfect for any day, really. And that's a nice, safe frying zone right there. You don't have stuff popping up everywhere. You don't see stuff spilling everywhere. It's a nice, safe boil, just like that. So another thing too, now this is one of my newer recipes, but I have my classic fried chicken recipe is kind of the same process. Let me see if I can find it in here. My classic fried chicken recipe, which is right here, Louisiana style. This is available in my cookbook. You know about Popeye's Louisiana fried chicken, this is uncle's Louisiana fried chicken, all right? This is my own technique that I use. Similar technique to what we did with these nuggets, but with that chicken. All that is available in my cookbook. That's good shot. Go and screenshot your phone real quick so you don't forget that. Because I know you want to stay here and watch how these nuggets turn out. Screenshot your phone and you'll be able to see it. Can I do fried rice? That's a good idea. Do I have any soup recipes? I have plenty of soup recipes. All right, so I have a whole section in my cookbook called Preludes. And in that section there, like my Black Magic soup, you're gonna want some of that for sure, for sure. I got my gumbo recipes in here. I got a whole soups and salads ver uh, um, chapter. My gumbo recipe right up in there. I'm telling y'all, get this cookbook. This is what you need. Everybody, every kitchen needs a cookbook, at least one. At least one, all right? Let's flip these nuggets again. Ooh, look at that color on there, boy. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. And that peanut oil makes, the, makes it smell so good, too. I know some people can't do peanuts. If you're allergic to peanuts, put a number four in the comments. If you're allergic to peanuts, put a number four. Peanuts. Do I think it'll work with pork tenderloin? Possibly. Only one way to try, right? I right, see my oil temp is dropping, so I'm going to turn my heat back up and get that oil back to where it needs to go. That's the key part of this recipe, is just, is just keeping an eye on, on that oil temperature. My Google have a audio book. I'm not sure what you mean by that. What question did I miss? What question was that, TD? Sound like you got the answer, so I appreciate everybody that's helping out. I gotta keep an eye on this oil and this coffee. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing for the plate. Remember, perfect with this sauce right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect with this sauce. What's the best oil to fry chicken? Peanut oil. A lot of people would complain that peanut oil is too expensive, but listen, you get what you pay for. 
And the thing with this peanut oil, I'm gonna reuse this peanut oil. All I'm gonna do is strain it, strain out any uh, extremities that came from the from the from the from the breading or whatever, and I'm gonna reuse it. It's clean oil. You can use it at least two or three times. But I like peanut oil when I'm frying chicken. You don't have to, but to me that's the best. That's that's where you get that best taste, that best crunch. I got my answer. Thank you for all that you do. Appreciate that, TD. Thank y'all. I uh, appreciate it, and, and that's all we're doing. We're just building a community here. So one hand washes the other. Thank you all so much for helping out. One more flip. So another thing too, especially when you're dealing with nuggets, because sometimes you can easily forget um, where you started off at as far as what nuggets you put in first to fry and which ones you put in last. I like to do the clock method, a backwards clock method, all right? So imagine this is like 12 o'clock, and then I just like to keep going around the clock backwards, like the, like the clock is spinning backwards. So when I go to flip them, I start from 12 o'clock and then continue to go back. If you just put them in, the, in there randomly, you won't remember which ones you put in first and which ones you put in last. It's all about your technique, okay? Was that milk brie? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Tell me about the apricot sauce. So this apricot sauce, sweet and tangy. It's from Traeger, okay? Big shout out to Traeger Grills for always showing love. Talk with dibs. I, I'm, I'm going to do some more barbecue recipes, y'all. Trust me. It's, it's, it's too nice outside not to, so trust me. I'm going to get that barbecue recipe going. Uh, for y'all videos and everything. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see on the barbecue pit on the smoker on the grill Whatever what recipes do you got do you guys want to see? Yep, that was a buttermilk uh, brine that I did for the um, For the nuggets Buttermilk hot sauce and Dirty bird rub And if you're just not tuning in there's four recipes on my site UncleDibs.com you haven't missed nothing, all right? I got you, I got you, trust me. Listen, y'all, when y'all see these finished products, you're gonna think like, this is Chick-fil-A right here. That's how good this is looking right now. Now, everyone wanna know like cook times and things like that. Cook times is one thing, but temperature is another, all right? Does anybody know what temperature Pork needs to be cooked at in order for it to be done. What's the what's the finished temperature for pork? Yep, pig fillet, exactly. Mister got it. What temperature does pork need to be at, y'all? Three, someone's at 360. That's the oil. The oil, starting oil needs to be 350. So I see, I see a lot of people say 165. So 165 is the temperature for chicken. Now you can get it to 165 for pork, but it might be a little shoe leathery, okay? 145 is a safe zone for pork, y'all, all right? Everything is not 165 like chicken. 145 is a safe zone for pork. You can, you can bump it up to 150, 155 if you want, but 145 and you're good. This is a nice thermometer right here, not just because it's digital, but it actually gives you all the temperature gauges right there for anything that you're cooking. So if you want a little cheat code right there, screenshot your phone. It's got everything from poultry to ground meat, the fish, everything. And it's magnetic, so you can just put it right on your fridge. This is also available on my Amazon list, the link in my bio. Everything I use in the kitchen is right there. All right, so this is the first fry. That temperature really dropped on me on the, on the oil after I flipped it the first time. So I'm trying to crank the oil back up right now without burning it. And 
And this is my first time doing this in a cast iron skillet as well. So, you know, it's all about technique. Cast iron will work well. Whatever pan you want to you want to use will work well too. But just make sure the oil is shallow. Two inches is all you need. Okay. Two inches gets the job done. All right. So right now, I'm gonna pull one of these nuggets just to check that temperature, especially one of the bigger ones, to see where we're at temperature wise. And we're definitely at 145 with this nugget. So instead of having to grab all these individually, I like to use a spider. Someone said, not what she says. I like to use a spider, okay? All I'm gonna do is round these up like a dog catcher. Shake off some of that excess grease and put them right over there on my wire rack so they're not sitting in its own grease. I'm gonna bring them, I'm gonna bring them over there to show you guys too as my oil gets back up to temperature, okay? Man, these are looking buzzing. Let me see where my oil temp is at first. And it's sizzling too, y'all. All right, my oil temp. Is it about 325? So I'm gonna let that get a little bit warmer before I put the second batch in. But until then, I'm gonna show these to y'all. Now, if you want one of these, put a number three in the comments right now. Look at this. Fresh out the fryer. I listen, y'all, I done I done dealt with hot stuff my whole life, cooking in the kitchen, so I can't even feel that. It's fresh out the fryer. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. So, for me, that trick was cutting the nuggets into thirds instead of halves, like I did in the in the first video. So, cut them, cut them, cut them small. Cut them small. Someone said three dozen. I saw y'all have some questions. Let me come back over. Let me let me dump the rest of these nuggets, y'all. Remember, start at twelve o'clock. Ooh, be careful, y'all. I'm glad that dropped that way instead of this way. That would have been bad for Unc. That's another thing. Anytime you're frying anything, or really cooking just anything, make sure you lay it away from you instead of towards you. Because if you accidentally have a drop like that, the grease will, will, will splash that way instead of onto you. I'm going to try to get all these in here because I don't want to have to fry a third batch. So since I'm putting more nuggets in there, I'm going to have to crank this oil up a little bit more because this oil temperature is going to drop tremendously with all these nuggets in there. So that's looking good. I can't I can't look at these any longer, y'all. Sorry, TikTok was making me verify if I was still recording. Look how crispy that is, y'all. These are perfect, perfect. If, if you didn't know no better, you thought I went to Chick-fil-A, right? Someone asked where I bought my cast iron. So I actually have my own cast iron skillets. I actually got one over there up on my wall. But the best cast iron, especially if you're just starting off, go with Lodge, L-O-D-G-E, out of Tennessee. Get you a, get you a Lodge uh, cast iron skillet. Someone said that's mean. What's mean? What did I miss, y'all? Y'all over here having a whole conversation about something else. Start agitating these a little bit. That's 
And, and, and also, y'all, this is a big back recipe, okay? This is a big back recipe. So if you're not trying to big your back, please, just, just let, let, let the big boys and girls play. Listen, y'all. If you haven't updated your app, you know you can smell. Just scratch your phone right now. Double tap your screen and, and scratch your phone, and you can smell one of these nuggets right now. I can't wait, y'all. I got to take... I gotta, I gotta taste one of these. Hold on. Thank you, Lord, for this food about to see for the nurse from our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's try it out. That's good, Saudi. Listen. We done cracked the code on this one, boy. We done cracked the code, y'all. I'm gonna tell you right now, too. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If I didn't, if I didn't tell y'all, if I just put these in front of y'all, y'all thought it was Chick Fil A. Y'all would have thought it was Chick-fil-A, I'm trying to tell y'all. That those herbs and spices. Let me let me finish flipping these nuggets. I'm gonna come over there and tell y'all what I what I just experienced. I'm gonna come talk to y'all here. So listen, if I didn't know no different, I would have thought this was Chick-fil-A, y'all. I would have thought it was Chick-fil-A. And I'm going to tell you why. 13 herbs and spices, y'all. All in one bag. One pound. This literally tastes like chicken nuggets, y'all. I'm not even... Bust them. Somebody call Keith Lee. Tell him to come see me. I might need to open up a franchise, y'all. I might need to open up a franchise, y'all. What should I? If I were to open up a restaurant that served just this, like a raisin canes, but just for 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 pork nuggets, what should I call the restaurant? What should I call this restaurant, y'all? Give me an idea of the name. Put, put the best name that you think that it should be called in the comments. What name should I use? Look at this, man. This is this is this is looking Uncle Dibs, duh. What's the ingredients? Shouties. <laughs> We're going down to Shouties. <laughs> use my name. Ain't no chicken here. <laughs> We're going down to Shouters. I like that. Did the pork come diced? I, I cut it up myself, y'all. I cut it up myself with this knife right here. I used the backside of the knife to tenderize it. Then I sliced it up into little, little bite-sized pieces as such, just like this. I wish y'all were here. The shelf life, so my seasons don't expire. My seasonings don't expire because they're all natural. Now, as far as potency, you're going to need to use them within a year. But they don't expire. Herbs don't expire, but they definitely lose potency, okay? All right, y'all. So, 
good thing about cast iron, you can cut that heat and that, that cast iron is still going to stay hot. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these because they're looking nice and right. And we're going to make us a little, little plate over here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Everybody hitting that like button. Thank y'all so much. Everybody getting their seasonings right now using that code 500K for 40% off. Thank y'all so much. Everybody hitting that follow button. I appreciate y'all too. Everybody getting cookbooks. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much, man. Just listen. Just listen. If you can hear that, put a number two in the comments. If you can hear that. All right, getting some ideas, y'all. All right, somebody asked how to order the seasonings. So listen, to order the seasonings, all you need to do is go to UncleDibs.com. The easiest way to get there is just to hit my name up top. It'll take you to my TikTok page. There's a link right there. Hit that link and you'll be on my page. Shop for seasonings, shop for a cookbook, whatever. Whatever you want to order, just put the code 500K in for like the next 15 minutes and you can get 40% off your order, including this seasoning here that I used on these pork chop nuggets. Yes, it's called the Dirty Bird Rub, but it makes those pork nuggets taste like chicken nuggets, but way cheaper because pork is way cheaper than chicken. Grab that right there. Yes. I am sold out of the regular size bottles, but guess what? Four of these bottles equals one of these bags. So that's the best value you can have, all right? All right, I, I needed to know that, that fact, no caps. From Kentucky, it looks good and delicious. Hey, if you're from Kentucky, I know you know about some good food down. All right, y'all. So to plate these, this is what I like to do. First, I'm gonna add my barbecue sauce. And like I said before, fruit and pork go together like, like Forrest and Jenny from Forrest Gump. Set out the Traeger. I'm gonna dump that right in my little ramekin right there. Next, I'm gonna grab my tom to tom tom toms. And we're just gonna build a nice little moat around that barbecue sauce. So if you got people coming over for the game, people coming over for UFC, the Masters, uh, or just coming to kick it. All my ladies out here, if you see your man Hanging out with his boys out on the, on, the, on the deck with some beers, just relaxing. I'm telling you, you put a plate of these in between them, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get some nice uh, attention, or at least a nice bag that upcoming week, okay? This right here will get the job done. If you have kids and they don't like to use forks and knives, they just like to grab stuff and eat it. This is perfect for that too as well. This is perfect for somebody if you're just by yourself, like me, just chilling by yourself. This is perfect for that right there. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you guys, Pig Filet. Somebody take a screenshot of these beautiful nuggets and send it to me on Instagram, please. Look at this, y'all. I mean, what do they say at Chick-fil-A? It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Will you, will you be using your Chick-fil-A uh, points today? No, I'm at pig fil that's why. How many of these do you think you could eat? Put them in the comments right now. How many of these do you think you could eat? If this was a contest, like the hot dog eating contest, how many of these do you think you could eat? That's exactly right, grown -ish. Somebody said six. Grown-ish, you can only eat six of these? Six dozen? 
Miss Watts said 25. She said, give me a 25 piece. Bev said three. Miss Williams said 25. Thank you, Crowbar. Appreciate that, nephew. Bear said 12. Listen. As long as nobody said one, because one is too close to none, this right here get the job done. Right here. This full recipe, if you tuned in late or whatever, this full recipe is available on my site. It's called Pork Chop Nuggets. You can find it on my site, UncleDibs.com, for free. I don't charge for recipes. I don't believe in that. But if you want to support what I'm doing, if you want to support and get join the family, buy some seasonings, use that code 500K for 40% off. Or if you want to really add something to your home library, you can go ahead and get my cookbook. That's good shouty. Now that code for 50% of uh, 40% off doesn't work for this, but this is worth it. All right. This is a hardback. Listen, hello. We don't do paperback over here. Full color, full instructions. You even got pictures of your uncle up in there. Smoothie recipes. Everyone needs a good mac and cheese recipe, right? Southern Comfort mac and cheese. Listen, y'all, you can get that also from UncleDibs.com. All right, y'all. So listen, I know I cheated already. I already ate some. Man, something got in my eye. It wasn't a pork nugget, though. But I didn't try any with the sauce. So let me try some with the sauce, y'all, all right? One last time, y'all. Grab one of these nuggets right here, right in the sauce. Little Dunkaroo. How do you do? How are you? That's good, shawty. Listen, perfect bite. I'm a happy man. Super simple recipe, y'all. Super easy. Didn't even make a mess. I'm, I'm pretty messy in the kitchen. Didn't even make a mess. All you needed was one seasoning and you're good to go. Does anyone have any questions or is class dismissed? Let me know. Anybody got any questions? Because I think we sit, she sat here and we got everything done. The sauce is this. Traeger, apricot, sweet and tangy. Pork and fruit go together like this, y'all. So I know a lot of people don't like to, they, they see apricot, they might get scared. This tastes perfect. Just think of like an apple, apple sauce kind of taste. It's amazing. What was that bag? Right here. Screenshot it. My Dirty Bird Rub. Dirty Bird Rub. This is a seasoning that I used for the nuggets. And listen, y'all, and you know what the craziest part about this whole thing is? I didn't even let these marinate overnight. Imagine if I would have let it marinate overnight, how it would have tasted. Even better. We, we have marinated for like 20 minutes and it's still busting. That's all thanks to the 13 herbs and spices in this dirty bird rub. Someone said they're coming to my house. Listen, you better hurry up. I don't know how long these are gonna last. I see you, Bear. I think no cap is the word of the day, Bear. I think I think you I think you got the, the no cap uh award of the day. No cap, no cap, no cap. All right, y'all. Anybody got any questions though for real? Full recipes on my site, UncleDibs.com. You can get the seasonings there. You can get the cookbook there, everything you need. What I put in the marinade, once again, the full recipes on my site, UncleDibs.com, but I'm going to tell you right now because I'm in a good mood. I put buttermilk, some hot sauce, side of the Zabs, and two tablespoons of my Dirty Bird Rub. I sliced up the pork chops. I just used boneless pork chops. Sliced them up into, into, into nugget sized pieces just like this. I'm just gonna tell you the whole recipe. Sliced them up, put them in a bowl, this bowl right here. This was, the, this, was, this was the marinade, the buttermilk marinade. Three cups of buttermilk. Mixed it all together, sealed it, set it to the side. 
For the dry mix, two cups of flour, half a cup of cornstarch, two, two tablespoons of dirty bird rub. Whisk that together. This went straight from the buttermilk mixture into the dry mix onto a wire rack. Peanut oil, about two inches deep. Peanut oil into your cast iron skillet. Get the heat up to 350. Once you drop your nuggets into the oil, that heat is gonna drop. The, oil, the heat of the oil is gonna drop and you wanna maintain it between 300 and 320. Thank you for the love, thank you for the love. Once you maintain it between 300 and 320, cook for two minutes on each side, constantly flipping. So you get this nice golden Chick-fil-A-esque color, just like that, okay? Do them in batches, two batches if you can. Just make sure you watch that oil temperature. That's the key in this whole recipe. Thank you, Miss New. Do people put egg in their marinade? I don't. I'm not people though. I'm uncle. If you want this, if you want it to turn out exactly like this, follow that exact recipe. You can't lose. I just did it right here live for you. Okay? And also, if you're just not tuned in, I think I have a couple bags left. You can get this for 40% off right now for the next like seven minutes. Use the code 500 k because that's my thank you all to y'all for 500,000 followers here on TikTok. And listen, on some real stuff, I have no idea what the future of TikTok is going to hold. This is why I brought up Keith Lee earlier. I just saw him on the news. I don't know if they're going to ban this uh, app or whatever, but whatever the case may be, please make sure you subscribe to my email list because if this channel is lost, I'm going to be on YouTube. I'm going to be on Instagram. I'm going to be on Twitter. I'm going to be on threads. You can... Or you can just go to my site and just deal with me through the email. I'll send all my new recipes right to your email box. But make sure you stay in touch with me outside of this app because we could wake up tomorrow and this would be all over with. So I still want to be in touch with y'all, okay? So listen, y'all. Make sure you guys eat some good food today, some home-cooked food. Stop paying $80 for these Uber Eats and stuff like that. Stuff showing up to your house all cold and... The driver done ate in your food and all that type of stuff. Make some food at your house, all right? Appreciate y'all. I'm going to get in trouble for this right here. You have a great weekend too, all right? Y'all be safe. We hit 21,000 likes on this live. Everybody that double tapped that screen, thank you. Make sure you do it before you leave and hit that follow button if you're not following before you leave too as well. All recipes are available on UncleDips.com as well as the seasonings. You got about six minutes left on that 500K code, all right? You are the master chef. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, God daughter, God's daughter. Thank you. I hope you're a Nas fan. That's a dope name. Thank you so much, y'all. I love y'all. Full recipe on my site. Y'all have a great weekend. Be safe, be smart, and eat good. Because that's good, shawty. I'll see y'all soon.